Hey, what's going on everybody? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a sign in with Google option on your website. So what we'll do here is we'll start inside of the Google developer console where we'll create a new OAuth application, generate some credentials and configure a few things. And then we're going to use AppRite on the other end for user management. So we'll take our OAuth credentials and then configure them to our AppRite application. And then the AppRite SDK will help us take care of everything else. If you're not using AppRite, you can still follow along with the first part of this tutorial because we are going to start off everything from scratch and create a new OAuth app inside of our console so you can at least see how that all looks. So let's go ahead and get started. And we're going to start off by going to console.cloud.google.com. And this is what you should see when you first log in. So the first thing we need to do here is go ahead and create a new project before we create an OAuth app. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new project here and we're going to create a new project and then just say tutorial and that'll be our project name. I'm not going to create an organization here and let's go ahead and hit create and that'll take a second. Okay. So our new project is created. And the next thing we want to do is go into APIs and services. And we want to create an OAuth consent screen first before we create an OAuth app. And this is that screen where it simply just asks you, Hey, do you want to allow this application to see some of your information? You click next and then it continues through that process. So let's go ahead and refresh everything so we can see the new project. And from here, we can go ahead and select our project. Let's click on tutorial and give this a second to refresh. And here we can start creating our consent screen. So for the user type, I'm just going to click on external. We'll hit create for the app name. I'm just going to call this my app. And for the user support email, I'll just enter my email here, the logo. I'm not going to worry about that. The app domain. So that's going to be the home page of our application. We're just going to go ahead and grab localhost here. This is what I'm using. And I believe it can't end with a forward slash. So let's go ahead and continue here. So the developer email, I'm just going to enter my email again. And let's hit save and continue. Okay, so it's creating our OAuth consent screen right now for the user scope. So what information do we want to get from the user? So this lets us set the scopes and what we're going to ask for. I'm going to go ahead and click add. I want the user's email and user basic profile information. And then I think actually I'll get their Google ID as well. So I'm not going to ask for too much, just some basic information. So this way we can set our account information within AppRite. So I added that in and I should be good to go. We'll hit save and continue. And for the test users now in the first stage, we're going to be in test mode. So you can only log in with users that are added to your test users. So if you don't add a user here and then you try to sign in, it's not going to work. Make sure you add them here until you actually go ahead and go through that approval process with your application and not every application needs approval. So that's going to be up for you to decide. So right now I'm just going to test with Dennis at AppRite. Io. This is going to be the email that I'm going to log in with. So I need to add this as a test user and that should be good to go. Save and continue. And looks like everything is set up here. So now that we have our OAuth consent screen, let's go ahead and jump into credentials now. And this is where we're going to create our OAuth app. So we're going to go ahead and click on create credentials and I'm going to click on OAuth client ID and I'm going to select web application here. And we'll just call that web client. That's fine. And here is where we're going to need that home URL here. So we're going to grab localhost again, pass that in. And again, it can't end with a forward slash and then the authorized redirect URI. So this is where I'm using app right now inside of app, right? I'm going to go ahead and go into my auth tab and I'm going to select on settings and I'm going to first enable my OAuth provider and then generate that callback URL. So in here, I should be able to find Google somewhere here. Here we go. So I'll quickly just enable that and we'll just remove the app ID and app secret for now. And we're going to go ahead and grab this callback URL right here. So we'll copy that, bring that in to our redirect URI, and then we'll hit create. So this is going to take a second. If it doesn't work right away, just give it some time. Now from here, what we're going to need is our client ID and our client secret. Now, once you hit OK, remember the client secret will not be visible anymore. So make sure you either save this. If you lose it, just go ahead and create a new one. So we're going to take this client ID and we're going to bring this into our app right console. That'll be passed into app ID and then our client secret. Let's copy that and bring that into app secret. So let's go ahead and update everything, save that there. And then I can hit OK. 
And that's everything for our OAuth client. Now what we're gonna do is go into the code and actually build in that login process. Okay, for this next part, we're gonna use the AppRite Web SDK to log a user in, and this is gonna be very simple to configure, but before we do that, let me summarize the code really quick, just so anybody that wants to follow along has an understanding of what's going on. So we have this very minimalist application. It was created with Vite. I have some boilerplate that I set up here, so let's just recap that. Inside of index.html, we have a login screen with a login button, and then a profile screen that simply has a logout button and then the username. Now we install the AppRite Web SDK, we configured a few things, and then just go ahead and export the client and then bring that into main.js. Now in here, we just get the login, logout button, and bold screens. Then we have a method to get a user and then render the profile screen or login screen. And these methods are very simple. We're just removing the client of hidden and then displaying them. So now we need to think about what happens when a user actually clicks on that login button. So inside of handle login, what we're going to do is call account.create OAuth to session. And this method is going to take in a few parameters. So the first one is going to be to make sure we pass in the provider, which is going to be Google here. And the second parameter is going to be that success URL. So where do we redirect a user once they're logged in? So that's just going to be our home domain right here. And then the final URL is going to be the fail URL. So in this case, we're just going to pass in fail right here. We don't have this right now, but we're going to pretend that we do. So if something goes wrong, this is where a user is redirected to. So if I save that and if we go to our application right now, if I refresh everything, let's just go ahead and try to log in. We'll hit log in with Google and let's just see what happens. So this is the consent screen. It's asking me to log in. I'm going to select the user that I want to log in with. We'll hit log in here and we'll hit continue and we're redirected back to the homepage and now we're officially signed in with Google. Okay, so that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the AppRite YouTube channel and as always, I'll see you all in the next video.